Welcome back, Nick and Lex here. Thank you so much for joining me to another episode of Music with Nick. We're back with RG today, uh, another marathon. This is the second one I'm doing today for him. Early, earlier today, I was wearing my Steely Dan t-shirt because it was all about Steely Dan and Larry Carlton. But the thing, what happened is that the the freaking marathon got blocked by YouTube because of one song. So I'm in the I'm disputing it right now. So I was I just wanted to make a video for RG um, because I mean he's due on the list and uh, I think it's only fair, you know. So I'm doing the second request. Uh, RG, thank you so much again for sponsoring the video. Like I said earlier today, I mean you haven't seen the video. I loved it. And I don't want to spoil anything. Like I want it to come out on YouTube. I don't want it to go to uh, to, to Patreon. Um, it was a great, uh, great marathon. And it was just wonderful. Like So I'm so bummed that... It was, I think, either the studio's decision or YouTube, or I don't know who calls the shots, um, but it's the second video that gets blocked. One, uh, a, gr a beautiful marathon I made, but it's usually with videos for some reason, because I just did a marathon for someone and I was like literally sitting there, like looking every, when you upload it to YouTube, there's a percentage, it's like one, two, and then it gets to 99 and then it says blocked or it says private. And it usually says that you can monetize it, which is understandable. But I mean, at least when it's not monetized for me, it goes back to the artist. So I don't understand the tactic of just blocking the video. So, okay. So I just hope that because we're going to do something a little bit different today, um, we're doing some uh, videos of this and I didn't really do any research. Um, the only thing I know that her name is Rachel Flowers and that she's what I what I think some kind of protege because here she's playing for Ray Charles. Then she's playing for Keith Emerson or she's actually not with, but uh, an intro by Keith Emerson. Uh, it says Rachel Flowers on the modular Mog intro by Keith Emerson. There's a small interview where we can see Keith here. Then she does a whole freaking video playing a Zappa tune. It's like, who is this girl? And then we're gonna we're gonna end it off with uh, Guthrie, Guthrie and Mike Keneally at the G4 experience. Wow. Okay, so. I'm going to do my research. I don't know if you, everybody knows who Rachel Flowers is, but I think, I mean, just the screenshots um, that I've seen are, okay, here I'm on our website. So she's like a min, oh my God, she already has like 10 albums. And she's, I guess, I don't know how old she is, but she looks very young. Wow. Let's just let's just get into it and uh and we'll enjoy and then everybody and then follow her on her on her uh YouTube channel. She's only at 28,000. Everybody come on and subscribe to this uh to this girl and uh you know and help her and and let's purchase her albums as well as much as we can. Um all right, so I'm going to set up everything. And I'll be right back with you guys. All right, here we go. Um, so this is the first video uh, RG um, requested. This is a 10-year-old Rachel Flowers plays for Ray Charles. Let's take a look. And it's already in HD. Perfect.
I think that was WC. Uh, I could be wrong. I don't know. Uh, so, uh, yeah, how can you do, do so much with those little hands? Huh? You don't know, right? You just do it, huh? Mm -hmm. Well, I have to tell you. It's true, it's true to me. Uh, how old are you, Rachel? I'm 10 years old. Huh? 10 years old. 10? Mm -hmm. Oh, boy, I wish I had been able to be that good when I was 10. We're going to record take five. Oh, good, good. One of my favorite songs. Beginning. Record. Oh, my God. Record on track one. She's blind, I can't believe it. Okay. Alto Sax Mini Track 2. Record. Just like I did on the Mercury Show on Track 2. That's so good. That's so good, Rachel. Wow. <laughs> now nah, I'm inspired. Wow. No, let me read this. Whew. Okay. Hearing is believing. Wow. Wow. Now I want to see the full movie. I should tell Alexa we should do this. I can't believe this um, girl, but I mean, it's almost like she's reaching out. She already almost knows where it is just by touching and oh, it's beautiful. Um, okay. Well, we're going to see some more of, of, um, Rachel. Um, I'll be right back. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Um, Okay, so this is a longer video. Um, we have Keith Emerson and Terje Mikkelsen um, sitting here um, talking about, I think, Rachel. But this is Rachel Flowers on the modular MOG. And the intro by Keith Emerson, I think, is the intros that he speaks. Not that she's playing an intro of the music.
recordings just got better. Hey, it's Dana from StreamYard. I'm so excited to announce that local... Hi, Keith. I know you're in England. Uh, I was... I'm going to try your mode, see if it's, if it's working. <laughs> she play like this i mean that's just pure talent like there's because i mean one thing is sitting down and playing eight hours a day but to get to this level and then also by being blind that's insane you know she's just Oh man, it's just incredible. It's just, it's almost unbelievable. I can't believe it. And she's so, like, it's all, I don't know if this is the, I haven't heard Emerson, like, and Palmer enough to know if this is the exact piece. But if she's improvising, then she's already, like, in the stratosphere, you know? I'm sure she's playing it note per note. Um,. Because just of the way it sounds, it sounds very Emerson like in Palmer. But oh my god, once Alexia sees this, she's not gonna believe it. <sighs> Thank you so much, RG. Like, this is kicking my butt. Because then there's people who have their eyesight and they don't do anything, you know, with their lives. I mean, musically or. Just creating art, like painting or writing, music. There's so many things you can do with your body. 
and then there's somebody who's physically restricted basically from birth or something and then does something like this you know so wonderful <laughs> soul <laughs> okay so uh i had to like <laughs> uh go off camera for a second uh i can't believe what i just saw yeah like what can you say like this is like a child blessed by god and blessed by music and she i mean she can barely reach the instrument and she can Played perfectly, like uh, 
and such complex music. And we're not talking about like Beethoven or, you know, which is complex or Bach, which is complex. But, you know, fusion, uh, you know, rock fusion, jazz fusion with all the classical influence um, is different. You know, it's not the same as just like learning very melodic um, patterns. This is like a different level of playing. This is different music. And she just plays it flawlessly. So I can't believe it. Um, well, let's uh, continue. This is Rachel Flowers. This was a live stream. And I think because of the comment section that I kind of peeked into, this is um, Frank Zappa. So let's let's go ahead. Try this again. that she's singing the harmonies and she's doing all this crazy stuff and then what i love about this whole thing is that she likes the music she understands the complexity and that's why she likes it you know this is music for musicians and that's what i've always said when i listen to alan holdsworth and people brush me off it's like okay i understand I don't think he plays guitar or stuff like that. And now she was actually going to play the guitar as well. I mean, it's insane how she's teaching herself to play the bass and the piano that way. And the singing, she does all these octaves and harmonies. Amazing. Amazing. I can't believe it. Oh, 
can't believe it. I can't believe it. Also, what I love about this a lot is uh, their her parents, um, who support her like in all, like all the way, like hooking up everything and recording because she can't see where the plus. Re I mean, she knows how to move the keyboard and she even changes like stuff and effects. But I mean, then the whole like plugging in and the inputs and the outputs and the whole going into the interface, going into the computer and recording everything, I guess that's wonderful that they help her with that. It's just amazing. I'm going to follow her more closely. I'm going to show this to Alexia, of course. And wow, I'm like, <laughs> I'm in awe. Like I'm, I'm a little bit shocked, uh, but in a very positive way way I'm just like like you say what hmm yeah I don't know what to say you know it's just amazing like it's, it's literally unbelievable it's one of those videos that leaves you like okay you know I mean the guitar she was shredding away I don't know if it was uh Frank Zappa's parts um or Steve Vai but I mean I don't even know what to put on the title of this video, honestly, you know, but uh, I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. So, okay, now we're going to go see some Guthrie, which is almost seems like, <laughs> I mean, you know, when you compare, uh, I mean, he's an amazing guitar player, but I can't even, I don't even, I can't even imagine how far she's going to get. And that's why I want to see what's next for her. So, okay, fourth video. Here we go. All right, and we're back. And here we go with Guthrie. Guthrie Guven or Guthrie Guvan or Given or I don't know. There's all these people who say um, his <laughs> name. I just know his name is Guthrie and his last name. I don't know how to pronounce. But I see also Mike Keneally. Uh, from uh, I remember him seeing in, him in the first uh, G3 with, with Eric Johnson and Joe Satriani and Steve Vai. He was backing up Steve Vai there really, really amazingly. So let's see them two in action and um, let's go. to attempt something only slightly foolhardy. Yes. <laughs> yes. Now that guitar that Guthrie is holding, one day I'll own that because that's been my dream guitar ever since I own the white one that, well, you can't see it right now, but it's, uh, oh, this one, yeah. This is basically um, a model less, you know, but it's, it's a Charvel. It's what um, Alan Holdsworth used to play uh, after his Ibanez days. and uh, But just the way the customization of this guitar that Guthrie has, and it's his, it's his, his guitar. You know, he customized it as he has a caramel flamed uh, neck and um, lock tuners on the top. And uh, it's not a Floyd Rose. And then you see how he connected the guitar from upwards instead of below, so you can't... It's just beautiful. It glows in the dark. There's a lot of features on this guitar, the Ibanez, that you also can't see, that also glows in the dark. I was actually going to buy that guitar, but it was just too much. It was $1,000 too expensive for me, so I got the Ibanez. Also in that natural finish, but one day, one day I'll do it. Okay, let's, let's get on with it. This is rock and roll. This song is rock and roll in its purest form. Yeah. Uh, Blues and country had a baby and it sounded like this. <laughs> this is a song by Frank Zappa. Yeah. Yeah. This features the vocal stylings of Mr. Joseph. Maximilian Travers. Like. 
And Lord have mercy on my soul. Alright. This is called Zombie Wolf. Yeah. Woo! Yeah.
I think this is on the like this is the aristocrats, um, and Mike and Neely is like an in, in invited or invite. Wow, but I I love I mean of course I love Guthrie. Everybody loves Guthrie. Every guitar player looks up to Guthrie, but Mike and Neely here like he showed he showed him. You know you don't. It's not all about speed. It's it's about intention. You know. Um, Sometimes a lot of players forget that. Um, I mean, Guthrie must be, I think, the best player on the planet now. But uh, Mike Keneally showed him, you know, this is what's up. And he was like, Whoa. you know, so, yeah, <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> Such a good jam. They're having so much fun. This is the life, you know. Okay, another commercial. So that's it. Oh my god, this was amazing. Let me just do this. I did it before in the other video. Yay! <laughs> wow, this was incredible. Thank you so much, RG, for you know um, opening up my eyes with this. Uh, this was fantastic. I can't. I still can't believe Rachel. Um, Beautiful. It was just beautiful. Um, Rachel Flowers and then what she was doing on that, on that mog. Jesus. So, okay, just to be clear. So it looks like she was also playing Zombie Wolf. And then their version was also Zombie Wolf. So I apologize. The videos are not very clear. Um, and I didn't go in, uh, RG left it very clear here. Um, it says, um, Rachel, most of Zombie Wolf, Frank Zappa song. And then, uh, same song, Mike Canini and Guthrie. So I apologize, uh, RG. Um, I mean, what, what do you, uh, what, what, what is there to say? I hope you enjoyed. Please show me your comments. What do you think? Um, I want to see a lot of views. I, uh, I'm going to try and be as clickbaity as I can. I, I, I usually don't like to do that, but I want everybody to watch this. So, um, let's see what I come up with. All right. So I hope you enjoyed. If you enjoyed, please do subscribe, like, dislike, whatever, whatever makes you happy, whatever, uh, makes you, uh, feel good, you know? And, um, and let me know in the comment section what you think about this, okay? Um, thank you so much, RG, for, for this amazing marathon. Uh, I'm just, like, in shock, uh, literally. <laughs> so thank you, and we'll see each other again very soon in the next video. Take care.